Hi, this is John Farrell with the Farrell Law Firm. Today, we're going to be talking about an update to the Aretha Franklin probate trial. And, but first, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And make sure that you hit the like button because every like helps. Hi, John Farrell with the Farrell Law Firm. To tell you a little bit about myself, I am the author of Estate Planning for the Modern Family, and I was recently voted one of the top three lawyers here in Cobb County, along with the law firm being voted one of the top three law firms here in Cobb County, Georgia. Well, today we're going to be talking about an update to the Aretha Franklin probate trial that uh, just came to a conclusion, well, essentially came to a conclusion just a couple of days ago. Uh, so for those of you who may have watched my previous video, uh, Aretha Franklin was an American singer-songwriter. She also played the piano. Uh, but let's face it, who doesn't know uh, Aretha Franklin? She was known as the Queen of Soul, and uh, she's been delighting millions with her music uh, for decades. So if you ever get the chance, make sure you go out and check it. Well, she passed away in 2005, and 2005, I'm sorry, 2018, five years ago. Uh, and there's been a dispute about her will. Uh, see, she made a big mistake uh, with her estate planning, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but I'm going to give you an update to the trial. Um, the big mistake that she made was that she tried to do it herself. She had a couple of handwritten wills at her house. One was in a locked cabinet, and the other was actually found under the seat cushion of a couch. And they were both handwritten. And there was a dispute about which of those two were actually her last will and testament. Uh, typically, whenever we draft wills, we'll always put a line in there. It's usually the first line that says, I hereby revoke all prior wills. That way, there's no dispute as to which is the last will. Uh, but in her case, uh, perhaps because she was doing it herself, uh, she didn't write that in there. Um, and so there's some dispute as to which of the two uh, was the valid will. The one from 2010 was found in the locked cabinet, and the one from 2014 was found under the seat cushion. So the jury uh, deliberated. Uh, they came back uh, within an hour, and they declared that the 2014 will is the valid will, the one that was actually found under the seat cushion. The sad news about this is that it actually just starts the probate case. So they have, uh, first the pandemic came along, then the family was just unable to agree uh, through mediation. So it went on to trial and the jury deliberated about an hour and came back and decided which of the two is actually her last will and testament. So again, the big mistake she made was she was trying to do it herself. Uh, and again, the sad part about it is that it really just starts the probate case. Interestingly enough, though, it doesn't resolve all of the issues with the wills. Uh, they're still going to have to argue about if the provis some provisions from the 2010 will uh, are valid and need to be implemented. Um, and whether someone can serve as an executor of the estate. So there's still issues they're trying to resolve with this probate case. Now, I'm going to give you one tip, one trick on how you could avoid all of this. Quite frankly, it's very easy. You should talk to someone like me or an experienced estate planning attorney. Uh, because this is what we do for a living. We help people plan their estates, and we don't make mistakes like this. Uh, whenever we draft wills, we make sure that we revoke all prior wills so there's not any wills out there just laying around waiting to be discovered and, and disputed as to whether it's a valid will or not. Uh, and so the big mistake that she made was trying to do, her, do it herself. Uh, doing your own estate planning is like trying to pull your own tooth. You might be able to do it, but quite frankly, you'd be much uh, happier if you let a dentist do it. And estate planning is like that. You, know, you might be able to write a will yourself. In fact, she did herself. Uh, but you can see because of this handwritten will that she did, it's really just put many years into her probate case. So having an experienced estate planning attorney do it for you, your family is going to be much happier. Uh, so... Again, they're still going to have to resolve uh, some issues with these two wills. And quite frankly, the sad part about it is that it actually just starts the case. They still haven't uh, distributed any of the inheritances out. Uh, they still have to do all the things that are required in a probate case. So this really just starts it. So a lot of people were relieved that the jury came to a decision, but unfortunately the decision they came to was, all right, well, let's get started. 
So it's been five years since her passing. Don't let this happen to you. Talk to an experienced estate planning attorney and they will assist you in getting your estate plan into place. And that's really what she should have done. Now, if you've watched our videos for any amount of time, you know that I help people get their estate plan in place and you need to plan for the future. So I created a book called Estate Planning for the Modern Family. You're gonna to wanna to grab a copy of this book because it's really the best place to get started when it comes to learning about creating an estate plan. Uh, to grab a copy of the book, I will put a link in the description below so that you can go and purchase your own copy of the book. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the firm, perhaps even schedule a free consultation for yourself, give us a call at 678-809-4922. That's 678-809-4922. Or you can go to our website. I've put the links in the description below, and we will be glad to talk to you about putting your estate plan into place also. All right, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Again, we put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and make sure that you hit the like button because every like helps.